Hey, Dad, <clears throat> I had this really weird dream last night. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I'm in the middle of something here. Uh, why don't you go to your work pages? We'll talk about it in a little bit, all right? I'm doing okay, Dan. It's just I happen to just be online and I happen to notice Rosie Dingle's audiobook is out. I was representing Rosie with, uh, with gifts. Yeah, okay. Oh, why'd you give it to her? Well, I had the contract half hammered out with uh, Fake Flaker and then they just pulled it, so I thought they just didn't like it. Well, I don't know what could have gotten to them. Yeah. <laughs> I was representing Gerald Muro, but it, I haven't heard from him in years. I, I, I don't know. There was some confusion about pronouns or something. I, I, yeah. Who do you have for me right now? Uh-huh. Really? Okay. All right, all right. Well, if y'all are going to treat me like this, then... Would you do me a favor, actually? I haven't seen any royalty reports, and I know Muro's books are still selling. I want you to send me a PDF of this last year's earnings. Yes. No, not tomorrow. Like right now, I don't want... Dan, I don't want to give you time to cook the books the way you're acting. I got a living to make here, okay? I got a daughter I'm taking care of. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you that much, but the rest is not your business. Dan? First of all, you're patronizing me, and second of all, my caretaker job doesn't make me money, it just gives me free rent, it gives me a place to live, me and my daughter. Oh, yeah, you're patronizing me, I swear. Uh, you don't have to tell me you're letting me go. You obviously let me go like a month or two ago, by the looks of things. Send me the earnings, all right, seriously. Dan, Dan, see, I'm not as stupid as y'all think. I can have someone come over there and audit you all in the next hour. Seriously, yeah. So if you're gonna cook your books, you better cook them soon, right? <laughs> Ow! Oh. 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 No. no, I'm fine. Fine, fine. But you didn't think dino vamps existed, did you? What have you got wrong? Thought you were the only ones who could suck blood, huh? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> sorry, we had our sister. 
I just wanted to test out your Halloween props so to make sure they're safe for when you go trick or treating. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you wanted to talk to me about something, sweetheart. I have this dream, and I'm not sure if it was real or not. Okay, okay. Let's go to your room and talk about it. All right, so Tom, sorry. Did you, did you have a scary dream, sweetheart? Well, I there was a, I someone was calling my name, and I went downstairs. Um. And there was this blue glowing girl, and she was just saying my name, and then I woke up, and that's all I remember. Well, sweetie, I'm sorry. It was just probably just a, it's probably probably just a dream, but it got to you, huh? Mhm. Mm all right. Well, I I wanted a, a blue girl. Mhm. Mm okay. I wouldn't worry too much about it, sweetheart. Okay. Anyway, um, I don't know. I I I, I got to go do some things. Why don't you do some drawing or some writing or something like that? Okay. And uh, we'll figure out what to get into, all right? Oh, sorry about the ketchup. I uh, felt like eating ketchup. acting crazy again. Yeah, yeah, I just pulled up. Yeah, I just about to go tell him the news. All right. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. I got to get this over with. Jordy. How are you doing? Oh, Nana. Hey, pretty, pretty all right. Just busy. Come on in. Oh, thank Anna. you. Yeah. What's up? Well, hey, look, there's something I haven't been able to talk to you about. And... All right. You have a few seconds? Yeah, sure. All right, just wait, bud. Just mowed the lawn. This guy uh, did a pretty good job on the deck. Yeah. Looks like he might have missed a spot. Yeah, that guy. I'm sorry, why don't you take a seat? All right. <sighs> What's up? Hey, look. You know, you've been doing a great job here. I know. But I have a buyer. Mm -hmm. He's offering me a price to rent. I can't pass it up. It's going to set me up in the future. And there's really just nothing else I can do. i got to take it. Okay, but I, uh, you know, I understand, but there's still so much work that this, this place needs, you know, and Emily loves it here. She's got all these friends. It'd be really hard for me to just take her out. I mean, I can really do some improvements to this property and you can get a better price on it. I hear you. And this is the last thing I want to have to do to you. Uh -huh. But you and I both know this place looks great. Mm. I gotta take it. I, I get it, but look, uh, I'll all right. I'll stop being a caretaker. I'll rent from you. I'll match. I'll match what he's paying you. He's paying me a lot, Lincoln. 
I'll match it. Hey, how, how much? Do you want to know how much he's offering to pay me? Hit me. Okay, I can't match that, but I can come close, all right? I'm family. Don't have, just, just look. I'll make it worth your while in the end. You'll be glad you did it, okay? Lincoln, do you even have a job right now? Uh, right now, no. But the stupid agency ripped me off and dropped me. But I'm gonna get a uh, no. But look, do you have anything for me? I. Well, I do know a guy. Hey, look, I'm sorry. There's something I gotta talk to you about with the house. Uh, well, well, have a seat. Have a seat. Actually, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please. Actually, lay down. Lay down. Just relax. Okay. Yes. Very nice, actually. Good. Ben, look, there's something I've been needing to talk to you about. It's uh, my brother. He's offered to match the rent, and I've got to give it to him. And I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't understand. We had, a, we had I had an offer for you. I know, I know you did. It's just it's my family. I got to do what's right by my family, and I'm sorry. Well, I, I, how much is he? I mean, that's not right. Um, I mean, in, any price, really. I, I am like really uh, flexible, and I, I need this house. It's you're, really good. For me. You're a good guy. It's just it's not about the money. I got it. He's got a daughter. I just got to do what I think is right here, and I am sorry. You know, you've been a great guy through this whole thing, and I'm sorry to do this to you. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's fine. You're looking up for your, your family. That, you know, that's very good. Very good. Um, yeah. Well, listen, um, yeah, that's that's all fine. I, I, I got to go. There's the sidewalk. You can use it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. What was that? This has been a chair. If I don't get this house, I'm ruined. If I don't get this house, I'm gone. I'll be nothing.
Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm your neighbor. I'm Ben. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, did you just move in? No, no. I, I've lived here for about 25 years. Seriously? Yeah. No, over on this cul-de-sac right here. No, no. Just way, way over there. Way, way, way over there. That way. Oh. Anyway, I, I brought you something. Sure, sure. It's anyway, a nice I'm... drink for you. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, You're welcome. Make sure you drink up because that's, that's, a, that's a special remedy for, for a day like this. Yeah, I'll drink it later. Have an uh, acid oh, reflux no. lately. Oh, that's perfect. That's just the thing for this. You want to have a sip? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Maybe later, man. I'm, oh, oh, man, I'm tired. Anyway, hey, Ben, it was uh, Ben, right? Yeah. It's nice ben. meeting you. Lincoln Cabretti. Lincoln uh, oh, I'll Lincoln. holler at you soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lincoln. Uh -oh. John Wilkes. Yeah. Joke. I get that all the time. Oh, hey, yeah. I'll catch you later, though, buddy. My okay. mom's waiting on me. Be, be sure to drink that. I'll do that for sure. It'll really help you feel better. Oh, I know, I know. Hey, be good, bud. Take okay. care. Bye. Give me a break. Bad gun. He gave my dad a drink or something. Laurel, why aren't you picking up? I need to talk to somebody. Laurel, come on, pick up, Laurel. Laurel, I really need to talk to you. It feels really weird around there. Hey, Emily? What are you doing, sweetheart? Uh, just trying to contact Laurel. Okay, well, look, if she's not picking up, why don't you go ahead and do your math studies or something, alright? Alright. Uh, Right there. Shut. Uh. Hi, hi, Evan. Very sorry I'm late. Yeah, I know, I know. A couple minutes. I had to get my hair just right. I'm so sorry. I want to look professional. Well, that's but Looks great. Very nice to meet you, Evan. Well, uh, Lincoln Cabrera. Okay, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Lincoln, you look a little older than your than your brother Jordy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, Jordy told me he met you at that at that engineer retreat y'all went to last summer. Uh, yeah, uh, Jordy's like 12 years younger than me. I'm, I'm really oh, proud. Wow, of what a dynamic guy. Uh, so, how is it that you didn't, being 12 years older than him, somehow? 
have something to do with his success. Uh, I'm the artistic you know? one, and he's just very prolific, and uh, he's just got really good instincts. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe he's got a crystal ball for all this uh, property investment that is, has been so lucrative for him. So, uh, but I've been working under him, and I'm trying to break away, and, you know, just get get branch out into other avenues. And I, I understand real weird yeah. <laughs> working on your little brother. <laughs> well, you know, you just you just do it though. That works. That's great. I, I, okay, I must so have gotten dropped on my head when I was a kid. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. So, what do you know about Fecklestein Industries? Oh, Fecklestein Industries. Um, yeah, yeah. I, w I went to your website and I saw I saw the I, I looked about your little your one product, uh, Clean Wipe. I read a little bit about that. I understand y'all do software and you're looking for sales right. reps. And I'm a great salesman. So, so software. Let me ask you there. Yes. What kind of experience do you have with software? Tons of software. I was just thinking about that. It's been a while, but I used to work at a place called uh, like Andrews Used Books and Comics. We had a whole department that I actually managed dedicated purely to electronics. And I mean like uh, Genesis, Super Nintendo. We even had some old Nintendo, Atari. We had a Sega CD. Uh, and I pushed a, I moved a couple of Dreamcasts for like between us sales guys, way more than they were worth at the time. We even had some stage videos. name used to be Doodoo -Doo McJenkins. Seriously? What? <laughs> Stage name? Okay. So right. tell me more about this uh, the software. It's been a little while since uh, those were really commanding names in the industry. It, so uh, let me ask you, are you familiar with anything more than just like, I don't know, little kids video games? No, it was a while ago, but, you know, I just look at the software as one big universe, and I have never dropped my instincts for pushing the product, you know? The very, very big universe that goes well beyond whatever i want to explore that Don't universe with whatever Fecklstein. you played yeah Fecklstein okay. is up here uh-huh uh, i can they sell it again trust me i'm a great salesman you give me a product i will move it great so are you familiar with clean white yeah that's yeah. our I, I most the recent white software I, I, okay. I read up on a little bit I, i'm a little unclear on what clean white does so maybe you can catch me up but it was a little i, I was in a rush well, i'm sorry i didn't have much time to catch up on it was talking with the software engineers and they said a lot of mumbo jumbo but one thing they said is uh it may or may not put a little virus on the user's computer okay but then it immediately finds that virus and then it's not a problem anymore okay. that's pretty tough it's tough stuff right? so so it's, so so clean white feckle scenes clean white puts a virus on the consumer's computer and then takes the virus off uh, there's more to it than that. I mean, uh, there's a lot of moving parts. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, this is an interview. It's not for me to explain. That's not my <laughs> department. But what I'll tell you is this: yes. it's marvelous. Right. Well, I understand it my was... position as a salesperson. I'll tell you that. I mean, it's, I, I can move product. I don't have to understand it to move it. I will get it sold. You know, Jordy said you were going to do all right at this. So uh, Jordy was right. I'm going to try you out. Okay. Here's the deal. You can be spending a lot of time making calls. That's the nature of outside sales. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. The world is a great big weird place. Okay. Full of little kids running into the room while mommy and daddy are on the phone. Sure. Yeah. Doing a 360 head spin. Uh huh. Diarrhea spraying everywhere. So much vomit. Mm hmm. Every single day. You need to stay focused on that mom or that dad and why. Right. They need to, you got to drive it home. Why the hell they need this product? Sure, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. They need that clean wipe uh -huh. more than they need that kid. Okay. So let's just say I'm, uh, I'll am i be pretending to be a guy named American Jim. I'm your average consumer. Okay. You tell me why I need clean wipe. Oh. Wait, 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 right now, like role play? Oh, yeah. This is normal. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, caught me off guard. You'll well, be Lincoln. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm American Jim. Hi, American Jim. American Jim. Uh, hi, uh, Lincoln Cabretti, representative of uh, the of Fecklestein Industries. Sure, you've heard of him. <laughs> I'm American Jim. Yeah. Hi, American Jim. American Jim. I'm here to t today to tell you about Clean Wipe Solutions. This is the new software. It's top of the line software being sold by Fecklestein at this time. And what uh, uh, Clean Wipe offers is the ab ability for whatever hard drive it is installed onto. Once I've sold you uh, uh, this software, to clean oh, all. Oh, hey, ain't no computer. Dog. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah, smack the fire, the hippity jibbity, just like yo, uh, <laughs> the 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 clean white, the clean white. Engage is in the jargon you think that they might use. Stay on the line. And so, American Jim, 
I mean, say I'm American into this. Jim. Hi, American Jim. Are you ready to take a bite out of virus? <laughs> <laughs> right? So what do you think? A couple of monthly installments to keep your computer safe and clean for the like duration of its entire I am American Jim. I know. American Jim, what do you say today to uh, uh, installing clean white? You're going to sell me a computer. Huh? I need a new computer. Sure. Well, it's let's assume you get. I was out in the garden with my computer like I normally do, yeah. and it fell, and there was dirt all over the inside of the computer. Then like uh, it doesn't clean that kind of dirt, American Jim, but it cleans up everything else that can possibly get inside it, except for like you know, like water and mud and stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, what do you yeah, say? Yeah, I think this is going to work out. I'm dumping you a client list. Uh, you gotta have to buy them. Uh, like just, just they, they gotta. You just gotta get them. Yeah. Pull them in. Okay. Whatever's going on, the diarrhea, the jello. Yeah. The jibba jabbas. Yeah. Stay right on it. Yes, sir. Evan, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to send me that client list, I'd love to dive yeah. into it. <laughs> Yeah, and see where we can go. Actually, I already sent it, but I don't know. You probably surfed the net on a PlayStation 1, so <laughs> it might take you a minute to get that email. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not that old. <laughs> All right. Well, Evan, thank sure. you very much. I'm really happy to have had this conversation with you. It's been very constructive. I'm going to see uh, my brother. I'm going to see Jordy in about a week here, and I'll uh, pass on uh, your regards to him. I can't stop doing my hands. <laughs> That's called being professional. Yes, sir. You need to be professional. I am professional. Because this is Fecklestein Industries. Number one. Mm. All right. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Be in touch. This fool ain't gonna push me no problem now. <laughs> Fecklestein Industries, number one. Fecklestein, number one, salesman of the year. Diversity is my strength. I don't want to be a recruiter. I want to be a team leader. Salesman of the year, Fecklestein. That Evan McDangle guy's a weirdo. Equity and inclusion. Diversity is, I like different cheese flavors. I... Fecklestein, number one. Salesman of the year, diversity is my strength. I don't like red. What's diversity mean?
swap out of my house. Yes, you do. Your life there can only be rejuvenated if you stand in the portal you took back when you built it. Why did you sell it back then anyway? Ah, that space equipment from Chiranka said it would be a good idea. Quick capital from the property to finance a pilgrimage to the east. Sounds pretty sweet at the time. I barely even remember what I did there. I thought I could get the house back easily when the time came here. Time moves so fast. Get down, and bring me blood, and your immortality will be sustained. I can do it. You'll have your blood. I just need that idiot to drink the elixir I did. And his world will arrive in the UK, and soon he'll be yours. Then I can take my right to place in my own place. Your gatekeeper to harvest lost souls. Yes. This is uh, Lincoln Cabretia representing Fecklestein Industries, and uh, I'm here to tell you about uh, Clean Wipe Solutions today. I understand your uh, computer hard drive has been having some problems? Yes, very much so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, it's like you want to take care of that hard drive. I understand you probably have a lot riding on it, probably a lot of uh, personal stuff that you don't want to lose, and Clean Wipe is here for you. So uh, before we get to what Clean Wipe does, I just want to tell you about the payment plan. Uh, right now, it's a one-time fee that will, if you pay, pay the flat rate, it'll save you 5%, or if you want to do a, 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 a four-payment four installment, we can arrange that. And I want to tell you that right now, we actually have a, I actually have a promo code just for today, so if we, if we decide to go through with this today, you can use that promo code for an extra 20% off, okay? Okay. So what does Clean Wipe do exactly? Uh, Clean Wipe, uh, yeah, sure. Clean Wipe is a very sophisticated uh, kind of state of, state of the art, top of the top of the line uh, software, man. So it's just like, I don't see how anybody could have a hard drive anywhere without using Clean Wipe. So what Clean Wipe does is actually it has a unique virus that when I give you your specific download uh, link, when you click on this link and you download the software, it'll put a virus onto your computer. And then what CleanWipe does is it will remove the virus and make sure that this virus never comes uh, gets on your, uh, you know, your your hard drive. It's 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 really sophisticated. Why couldn't I do that by myself? Why don't you just have CleanWipe do something that I'm more than capable of doing myself? Clean CleanWipe, uh, it it's got stuff that those other guys don't have. Don't take advantage of me because I, that really hurts my feelings. And that's really, really bad. Fecklestein. That's and, really upsetting me. Clint, I'm, I'm very upset. I, you don't want it to be upset. I never meant to hurt your feelings. I just want to tell you about clean weight. I don't want your you computer to be hurt any more than I want your feelings to be hurt. I don't like the way you talk to me, and I don't like the way your face looks. Understood. Call me back if you have second thoughts. <laughs>
themselves with that thin guy? Yeah, so you might be disappointed, but my brother says he can almost match the price. I'm considering selling it to him. Oh, good. Good? I thought you were going to be kind of pissed. That was a lot of money I passed up on. I'm not even worried about the money. I just got a really weird feeling about that Ben Worthington guy. Why is that guy so creepy? He's got a lot of money, though. Out of curiosity, what's the problem with that Mr. Worthington guy? I don't know. I just had a really weird feeling about him being in that house. Well, he makes my skin crawl, but he was offering me a lot of money, so I'm glad you're cool with this. My grandfather actually knew his grandfather, and when they were building that house, there was all kinds of creepy stuff going on in there. <sighs> Jordy? Amanda. Jordy. Amanda, 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 yeah. Hey, good hey. to see you, Jordan. How'd that interview with Evan McDangle go? Oh, pretty good. He's an all right guy. I think I might have a job. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I think this might be working out. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for setting that up. I do appreciate it. Of course. Hey, you want to go talk to Amanda a little bit while I catch up? All right, off you go. See you. This really weird guy shows up, like, right after you left, pretty much. Really weird guy. Says his name's Ben. Comes over to my, my, your house. Gives me this drink. He's real insistent that I drink it. Creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, he said his name's Ben? Mm -hmm. Ben Worthington? I have no idea. Blinken, the guy that's trying to buy that house is like that. Ben Worthington. No way. Yes. That guy was creepier than the neighbor we used to have that was always threatening to tickle us. Oh, that guy? The tickle guy? Yeah, the tickle guy. The guy who was always trying to tickle us. There's no way he's worse than the tickle guy, okay? But he was a tickle maniac, and at least Ben just gave me something to drink. He wasn't trying to tickle me. That you know of. Alright, well I got rights to defend myself if this dude shows up again. And I'm not gonna drink the drink he gave me to drink. Right on. In fact, I encourage you not to drink that drink. Why would you drink the drink? I would never drink the drink. So, Emily, how's school going for you? It's going okay, but I haven't heard from my friend Laurel for a while, and it's getting kind of quiet. Well, it sounds like you're going to be in that house for a while, but if you ever get too lonely, we can always come visit you. I'd really appreciate that. Nice haircut, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Amanda, this place kind of smells like really old tomatoes. I know, it does, doesn't it? Uh, 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 wait, no, let me try that again. Uh, wait, no, let me try it. That was pretty good. Good morning, Mr. Cobretti. Ni hao, Miss Fujitani. Why did you say ni hao to me? Uh, because you're Chinese. I, I know a little Mandarin. <laughs> I am in Tokyo. 
I thought I made that clear in my query to figure stain. Oh, Japanese. Cool. So you must know a lot about uh, Godzilla and Ultraman and stuff. Sure, please, Mr. Koboretti, if we could keep this professional and get the point. Of course, of course. My department has been given a limited budget to cover virus protection for 18 computers. We are searching effective and affordable virus protection. Can you tell me if there are discount for coverage over several computers when built to one account? Can you give me an attractive offer? Yeah, well, uh, Fecklestein Industries offers a really fantastic state-of-the-art, uh, uh, top-of-the-line uh, software that uh, you say, I mean, you need it for, what, what, 17, 18, 19, 20, however many you need. You know, we can, we can put it all together and combine, and, uh, you know, what, what I can do for you uh, today only, just for you, as a matter of fact, Ms. Fujitani, is I can give you a... Um, discount code, a uh, promotional code, uh, just for today that will apply to uh, however many computers you want to add. It, this promo code will be applied to the, uh, the, the fee of one computer. However many you want to add, it'll take, it'll take that, it'll, it'll discount that one computer out of however many you want to add. So, it, I mean, there's really, it's limitless, you know, I mean, and quite honestly, you can't beat a deal like this on any given day. <laughs> Mr. Koboretti, I feel that the software you are trying to sell is useless and that you and Fikustin have wasted my time. I'm mildly offended by this and recommend you search a new job, perhaps with a company that is legitimate and has integrity, or at least a company that is better at scamming potential customers than you. Sayonara. That means goodbye in Japanese. Dummy. Fekelstein Industries number one. Okay. Mission accomplished. <sighs> oh, this job stinks. <sighs> Mr. Coboretti, I'm happy to tell you that I'm in fact a sick shopper for Fikustin, operating Fikustin Japanese branch. You have performed with excellence. I recommend to my boss uh, that with your best taking your handsome looks and customer service fitness, that you will be promote the Department of Ultraman and Godzilla Good Sale. We will answer directly to your new bosses, Junji Ito, and Takashi Shimizu, does this offer attractive to you? Um, yes, yes, I, I can totally dig that. <laughs> Arigato! Delightful. <laughs> we will have you begin work first thing tomorrow at 9 a.m. your time. Oh, but please, I have kept you all this talk. You must be thirsty, right? Um, <coughs> maybe a little. <coughs> Throat's a little dry. Oh, well, I'm sure there is a bee bars in your refrigerator upstairs that will quench your thirst with its enchanting flavors. Yeah, yes. Actually, I think there's a drink there waiting for me. Then drink, 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 drink.
Hello? Jay. Hey, hey, I'm really sorry to bother you, man. Look, uh, the uh, jacuzzi in my basement, it's uh, swelling up with this gunky, funky, stinky, smelly stuff. I, I swear it did not come from me, but I don't know what to do about it. And I know you know a lot about these things. Uh, do you think you could potentially, maybe when you're able, come over and take a look at it and hopefully fix it? <sighs> did anyone hear me? Uh, oh. Uh, it's the best year. Okay. Nothing. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Jay. Listen, uh, oh, oh, one other thing since I got you, just real quick. Look, uh, there's some shows coming out I'm really psyched to see. And I lost the, the uh, passwords you sent for your streaming services. Would you mind sending those to me again? Text or email, whatever. It's the best year. Okay. Nothing. Awesome. You're the man. Thanks, thanks, Jay. Really appreciate you. Take care, buddy.
Ah, what, what do you have there? Uh, it, this is book two in my series because oh, yeah. I've already finished book one. It's Return of Draco Sinister. I've got the rest of the pages over here. Oh, okay. Um, this, it, the superhero is throwing it into space and then boom, it explodes and the guy lost an eye. Okay. He tries to, and the next page is kind of fun. Uh, 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 this is back on Earth. There's a parade happening and all that because they're celebrating all the good things. Oh, okay. But let's go back to Pluto. He's lost an eye, and but he, so he poked his eye back in, and said, like, and it falls back out. And he's like, oh. And then he goes and goes to his workshop on Pluto and fixes his eye. And he fixes it. Okay. And then the house uh, turns into a ship. Uh, okay. Is that everything? And uh, not so far. Okay. It's okay, but it could be better. I'm do I'm putting you off the acknowledgments. <laughs> Something about the guy who built the house? Well, my dad's been in the bathroom for a while, but we'll see. The chickens? Yeah, sure, I'll see you soon. Hmm. Where's your father? Did he not come? Dad has this ghetto diarrhea that won't quit. He couldn't make it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Emily, I need to talk to you about the guy that built your house. What about him? Let's feed these chickens and I'll tell you all about it. My grandpa helped Ben Worthington build a bathtub in your basement a long time ago. Well, that sounds bath-tastic. It wasn't bath-tastic at all. Ben got drunk and said that he was going to use the bathtub for blood sacrifices and to open up a portal to hell. That isn't bath-tastic. You're right. Then he was all wasted and was talking about how he has a collection of human organs in jars. Yuck! He learned that he could gain eternal life through the blood sacrifices in the portal that he opened. That's even scarier than my dad's wicked diarrhea. He wanted to encourage women to kill their kids and their husbands so that he could then enslave all of the women. I ain't gonna be no slave. Then he said he wanted to eat my grandpa's heart and he started chasing him around with a stapler. Dude! My grandpa got out of there and never looked back, but he said that when he would see Worthington out in town, he never aged. Well, I should probably tell my dad about this, but I would probably forget. So sorry, Amanda. I think you should probably tell him. It seems pretty important. I think he might be immortal. And evil too, right? You heard what I just said. Definitely evil. Okie dokie, I better get going.
What are, you, I, what are you doing here? I, I knocked the door. Um, nobody, nobody came, uh, but I came. Somebody said something about you need some help with your jacuzzi. Jacuzzi? Oh, the jacuzzi. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Here, come on. Jacuzzi. Oh, hey, Lincoln. Hey. You still work for that agency? Oh, they just, no, no, I let them go. They were stupid. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm writing this book, this engineering book, and I'm, I'm looking to find somebody to publish. Uh, uh, let, let me stop you right there. I'm sorry. You know that agency, they uh, they just want spicy stuff anyway. Oh, they, they could be spicy. Uh, okay. Uh, look, I'm sorry. Jay, if you don't mind, <laughs> forgive me. It's just, you know, ever since I got into the literary world and got some work for a little bit, just everyone who had a book idea thought I had some kind of golden ticket to get their little book published. So I'm sorry. I mean, seriously, I've just... I'm kind of tired of doing favors of that sort. So uh, if you don't mind, we just maybe go check this out. Okay. Thanks, man. I really appreciate this. All right, it's right down this way. All right, sorry. Hey, uh, look, um, I wasn't entirely truthful with you. Some of the stuff in there did come from me, but not all of it, okay? Okay. So I don't know where the other stuff is coming from, but anyway, I'm, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna go play some video games. And why don't you just holler at me when you figure out what's going on and what kind of tools you need to go get from home, okay? Okay. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, man. All right. Good luck. Did you know that you have way too much privilege? And the guilt you should be feeling right this moment should be overwhelming. Your little skulls should barely contain the shame that you should feel for all the privilege that you were given unjustly and you should give away right now! <laughs>
Marchese. Hey, Jay, you almost done down here? I think I'll be able to take a jacuzzi like sometime this century, maybe? Yeah, I know it's not your fault that video games these days stink, but that's just the world we live in. Isn't it? Jay? 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 Dude, where you been? Did you fix the jacuzzi? Hey, Jay. Hey man, uh, your uh, streaming service passwords? Can I get those? Sometimes, just, just like text them? Is it... All right. Mr. Burel, good morning. Lincoln, hey, thanks for reaching out. No, it's my pleasure, Mr. Burel, and I got to tell you, after uh, watching your bourbon drop videos, it's 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 my pleasure for sure to be helping you today. So uh, anyway, what's on your mind? Yeah, I think I'm kind of interested in this uh, Fecklestein software. Explain it to me, man. Tell me what's going on. Absolutely. Okay, so Fecklestein software is this. Uh, it's this state-of-the-art new software that is just uh, you know it, it's just mandatory as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Any business or enterprise or independent uh, uh, reviewer such as yourself, I mean, you really can't create your content without ensuring that uh, uh, Fecklestein has your hard drive manageable. <laughs> no, um, I, I'm, I'm just, look, I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste mine. So if you could maybe just get to the point. Oh, certainly. Okay, uh, so 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 uh, Fecklestein uh, software, Fecklestein solutions gets inside your hard drive, and uh, <laughs> it, 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 it 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 figures out what's going on after it installs this vi <laughs> virus, and uh, <laughs> the the it takes the virus off, so there's no. <laughs> no, this no. Look, let's let let me stop you right there. This just seems like a scam. I'm not down with anything like this. So, uh, look, I don't know what you tell your parents you do for a living, but they can't be happy with this. Bye.
I'm sorry, are you, did, are you Jordy's friend? Yeah, yeah, I'm the radar inspector. Did you know I was coming? Radar, the, oh, the, the radar inspector. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, radar. Ra okay, uh, sure, okay, all right, all right. Uh, the, the radar, uh, the meter is uh, down in the basement, shall I uh, Actually, I, I really need to do my thing up here first, and then maybe we'll get down there. Later. All right, great. You got your you got your gear with you? I do. I have everything I need. Kind of need to need a little bit of privacy while I do this here. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll get to it. Hey, uh, my name's Lincoln. So uh, you just uh, <laughs> let me know if you need anything. Right? Thank you. I'll leave you to it. All right. All right. Blame it on genetics, so why don't you shut your mouth? I get the fix, cause my mom took pills from Roscoe the Grouch. Roscoe the Grouch, he gets pills to the littles. Those little turns be popping with the gnaw like Skittles. It even worse now, that's why they're getting confused. That poor big freaks that he a princess at the blue. Up is getting pregnant, groomers got the cameras on. Turn from up and love girls with pajamas on. In a mirror for portrait, so I gotta punch the stamina's dog, or else I might be snatching his packages from Amazon. MC, you as a fancy job, doodle flipper. You can steal Amazon packages, you trap in a poodle slipper. Them packages had all my Pokemon cards inside. For this atrocious stuff, that's your point, that's your feel for Mr. Nicholson, I'm uh, uh, the Lincoln Cabretti. Very nice to meet you. I'm representing Fecklestein Industries. We are selling clean, clean wipe solutions, uh, and I understand that you've had problems with your hard drive running slow, a little choppy, maybe. And uh, did you did you have any questions for me? And we can talk about the process of getting you clean wipe. Uh, yeah, uh, mostly going video and music recording, and uh, just kind of uh, things are bogging down. Seems a little sketchy, so I'm trying to clean that. Up. Right on. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, m music and recording. I mean, you've poured a lot of effort into your creative works, and you don't you don't want to take any risk with them whatsoever. So, uh, you know, Clean Wipe is the solution for these kinds of things. So, uh, I'm going to tell you what Clean Wipe does is it gets on your computer and it just cleans and wipes and makes everything safe and honky dory and wonderful for uh, whatever you created. I mean, it takes care of your computer. So, I honestly think you can't really go without it these days. I, I, I'd like to talk, discuss with you about the payment plans. Now, there's a, you can do a one-time flat fee and, uh, you know, save 5%, or you can pay in uh, four installments. And what you do is, that is uh, once you make your first installment, I send you a unique download link that will put uh, CleanWipe on your computer. I do actually have a promo code just today. So if you do buy today, that will entitle you to another 20% uh, off your overall purchase. So, I mean, honestly, you, you can't do much better than that. I've never so, heard of this company, though. Um, so uh, why should I trust putting this into my computer? Well, we were... Hold, wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Are you, is your, your name's Scott Nicholson, right? Uh, Scott Nicholson. Like the author, Scott Nicholson? Like the Red Church, the Gorge, Meat Camp? And yeah, I've been a, I've been a writer. Yeah, real. That it's, dude. I, I met you, you, the horror author Scott Nicholson. I met you at Mysticon years ago. Mystic. I got uh, the, your copy of the Gorge sign. Lincoln. You remember? Me? 
Lincoln, what's your last name? Cabretti. Cabretti, yeah, I vaguely remember you. You just seemed like a getter, or just like loving the creative life. Look at you now. Why are you selling this crap? You know, you know, I was working, I, you know, after meeting you and I was just like so into the, 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 the creative landscape and I ended up working for an agency. I was like a talent scout. I, I, I got, I got Gerald, Gerald Muro, I got him published. I got, I, I was working with Rosie Dingle for a long time, the two shades of brown lady. Uh, I, I, I guess things just kind of shifted. There was a big change in the industry and guys like me just can't stay afloat for whatever reason. It's ridiculous, but they, they dropped me like a bad habit after I've been working with Rosie Dingle for months. I've been through six agents, so I get it. <laughs> Say yeah. that. Scott, I got to tell you, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of dubious about this uh, software, this uh, Clean White Solutions. It sounded kind of good, but uh, I, I dared to trust this dude, but I just, I kind of have this feeling like I'm trying to sell you garbage. I, I, I don't think it does anything. What do you want it for? You, you should get out of that, man. Man, I, after I lost my job if i'm gonna keep paying rent to live in my uh, brother's property here you know if i'm gonna keep my daughter in this community i got to uh i i just had to get a job he recommended me to this 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 dude evan mcdangle this crazy guy that kept on making funny noises during our interview but i get this job and i'm making i'm making money but this is i'm sorry i just feel filthy i feel i feel like i need clean white solutions to for something to clean my soul right now i'm very sorry uh, i remember you like a real energetic, you know, person just loving the creative life. And now to see it like this, man, it's a bummer. I, no, it is. You know, I, I'm, you, you know, I'll tell you, not just the agency stuff, but I'm really into to writing and illustrating. And, uh, you, you know, I, I don't know, I, maybe I'll find some other way to pay the bills in the meantime, but I got to get back on that. I just, this doesn't feel right for me. It's a, but I'm just so thankful that I would come across you like this. Oh yeah. yeah. I love the creative journey. I like to follow what people are doing and, uh, you know, it's, a bad day of creativity is better than a great day of selling crap on the internet. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Well, thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. I, I, this is, this just means so much to me. And, and I, I, once again, I apologize, this is, but, but this is in a roundabout kind of way, this is just so such a, such a good thing to have happened. So thank you. I'm going to contact that uh, Evan McDangle dude and tell him I'm not good for this. Thank you. Uh, thank sweet. You. Well, I'm sorry. I've still got this problem, but, you know, I don't want you to have a problem. No, no, you've no. you've helped clean. You've helped my problem in a roundabout way. But uh, yeah, there's a, just a look a look around. Someone will know someone who can help you with your computer, and you keep recording your music. I want to hear more about this. All right, take care. Bye bye. Fakelstein Industries number one. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Why do you have your name as Lee Davis on this book? Oh, that's a pin name. So I can talk about all of our awesome adventures, uh, and people don't know it's really you and me. Hi, Michael. Hi, Ma. Have you seen Laurel? Dude, she's in Hawaii, visiting her Uncle Bung Nugget. Uncle Bung Nugget? Yeah, her Uncle Bung Nugget. He has a flamingo farm. Mm -hmm. Flamingos? You better believe it's flamingos. Well, there's been all this evil stuff going down at my house since this weirdo came over. 
Not a weirdo. A weirdo. I hate weirdos. Mm. Me too. Weirdos stink. Weirdos are no good. Weirdos stink. Weirdos stink. Weirdos stink. Weirdos stink. Weirdos stink. Yeah, she sucks. Yeah, she's so annoying. Like, like, like when you need to go to the bathroom. Oh, she's always saying you could have gone during lunch, but but I don't need or to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Can you? Yeah, yeah. she's so kind of like I don't know what's wrong with her, and it's and always ugh. every day. I think she can't get any fatter, but she does. Yeah, way too much Mickey D's. Yeah. You know what? She also made me do this Alex assignment that was like, instead of your normal 15, it was like 50 questions, and she made me do it in one night just because I didn't say, may I use the restroom. And isn't that how your digestive system works, to have to go after lunch, not in between lunch? Yeah, I know, right? Ugh. And she gets mad at you if you don't, if you don't know that question and she always calls on the people on the kids that aren't raising their hand yeah i don't know yeah, why teachers so do that she shouldn't have been hired anyway isn't that like part of like i don't know not bored of having her interview thing and Inter yeah maybe she didn't take one yeah i know what you mean all right mrs belchwad i hate the name too yeah Bye, yeah it's yeah. really really He's always throwing up Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? No. Hey, I got an idea. Let's sing a song. Why would we sing a song with you, weirdo? Hey, you're that weirdo that came over to our house. No, I'm not. I'm someone else. Uh, whatever, creep. Get out of here. Well, I guess I should be going. No. Uh, okay, that was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Seriously creepy. Hey. here without a jacket in this cold weather? Uh, Ben, right? Hey, look, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are, and I just really don't want you around here, so could, could you, like, not come here? Well, this will only just take a second. Now, did did you drink the elixir I gave you? I, I drank the elixir. It made me sick as a dog. What gives? But it didn't kill you, so I brought this knife. Whoa, dude. Oh, <laughs> so now I can kill you more efficiently, and it, it'll, it'll be really good. For me. Dude, you gotta go. I'm sorry. Hey, man, I'll, I, I'll use this broom. Don't you see that this house is my portal? Generations ago, I opened up a portal, and it gives me power. That's why I have to be here. Friday. I have to be here before Friday to rejuvenate. That's why I need to kill you now, before Friday, when the portal's at its strongest. Today is Friday. Today is Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. It's been Friday all day. Don't you don't you have a Fitbit, you weirdo? Not Friday! Not now! No! I'm too late. I'm too late. No!
he was made of chocolate the whole time. <clears throat> it's not chocolate. 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 Man, my new bed is totally bodacious. Huh?
Neighbors are arguing about dog poop. Emily? Emily, it's your reading time, sweetheart. Where are you? I wouldn't. I think you're the main reason I'm down here looking for my daughter in the first place. Everyone told me told this place would be off that state. This, this, this is not what I expected. This is bad. So, you'll help me, right? Like, get me out of here. Get me out of here. What, so you can get back to the surface and cause more damage than you already have? You, you know Jesus, right? If you see him, can you, can you ask him? If he gives me just one more chance I, I, just to get out of here, I, I'll do right. I'll, uh, I'll think of something, you know? I'll, 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 I'll whatever, he, whatever he wants. Forget it, pal. If I get to meet the big guy, then uh, I got a lot of other things I'd like to talk to way before I start talking about someone like you. So why don't you just stay here and think about what you did for a while? Please, please, I, come on! Well, I gotta go. I gotta find my daughter. Anything! Come on! Lincoln! Change your name to a beer. Change your children without your faith. Tell your kids that your name is on me. Change your name. You are a fake man. You are a false man. Emily. Emily, where are we? I don't know, but we better find the way out of here quickly. Okay, okay, uh, this direction. Come <laughs> on. 
Why are there so many mean buttheads on this planet? I don't know. I, you know, I think there's just a lot of selfish people out there. And I'll tell you, Emily, when I was growing up, when I was a kid, when I was your age, you know, I was looking for love and appreciation and encouragement everywhere. And all I seemed to get was people that were just miserable and wanted me to be equally miserable and pull me down with them. And they could only do that by kind of crushing my spirit. And all, the, all that happened was people were just cutting down on my soul until at some point there was almost nothing left. And then when I said, what now? It seems like the only thing I heard from people was uh, I should kill myself, you know? And I, I honestly came close to doing it. I was thinking about it. And then at the, you know, right when things probably couldn't get any worse, I realized all along would have been crushing my soul, would have been crushing me, crushing my faith, my dreams. It was, it was the devil all along, just wanting to destroy me. And I, I then also realized that there had been love there for me all along, and it was God's love. I don't need my love from people, broken down people. I, need, I just needed it from God all along. It, it had always been there, and so that's, that's the same love I'm raising you with. I want to raise you with God's love, and I want you to always know that you'll always be loved. And I'll, I'll never fail you. I'll never give up on you. That sounds pretty good to me, Dad. That thing. Oh, what is that? Oh, disgusting. Look. Oh, you touched it. Uh, it over your hand. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to see what it felt like. Ew. Ugh. Oh. You got a napkin? No. Ugh. Like a flat, secret, massive, fuck, behind the appetite. 